I mean, I think it should have happened a long time ago. Mm. I, I don't think it happened a long time ago because they wanted to stay together for the kids, which I respect. And I think that that's really nice. But um, yeah. how old are you kids at this point? But y'all didn't give a fuck anyway, did you? I mean, did y'all really care? Or did, how, how many brothers and sisters you got? I forgot. I got one sister. And uh, uh, yeah. Would and, she have gave a fuck? Or did she yeah, kind of did all of y'all kind of know? That we this talk- wasn't a good. We we talked about it when we were on the last podcast, but like Indian people don't divorce. Like this is not a thing in our yeah. culture. It's becoming right, right. more. Uh, it, it's becoming like you know in America it's like fifty fifty. It's like flipping a coin. Yeah, is the divorce yeah. rate? It's uh, it's unbelievable. It's even more. I think it's like fifty five percent in America, uh-huh. and in India it's like it was like ten percent or something. You know, it was like very rare. Right, and now right. it's more like twenty five percent. It's like a little more common. So, mm-hmm. but when we were kids, like it was unheard of. Like we would have been no. done yeah. from the family. Like really, um, yeah. Like in, in the Indian community, we're the nosiest people. And like every time yeah, you go to like an Indian event, it's like, do you hear it on me and Garte is C and math? Like it was like a oh, big. Shit. You, know, like, <laughs> you, you got a you got a D. Like everybody fucking knew, you know. So yeah. Indian people are like gossipy, chatty, nosy people. So it would have been a big thing in the Indian community for us, and it would have like made us outcasts in in our in our group, in our, in our community. Now, are you, are you really connected to the Indian community like that? Or, or I, like, I'm not, I mean, you personally, right. When I was a kid, I was more so, but more by you, obligation. You kind of had to be. You, yeah. I mean, you didn't have a choice of where you went. Your parents I didn't have a choice. Yeah. Exactly. So when I was a kid now, um, absolutely not. Not at all. I get if wedding yeah. invites and shit, and I'm like, I don't even remember your name. I don't, which, <laughs> which Shivam Patel is this? I don't know who this is. You know what I mean? Because uh, Indian, yeah. Indian weddings are, I've, I've done those just uh, doing video and stuff. They are gigantic uh, affairs. Like, if you yeah. don't get invited, yeah. you must have done, you, I mean, you must have touched somebody yeah, and exactly. like more than once or something. Right. <laughs> Everybody gets an invite. Everybody, the yeah, thing. they're crazy. So, they got elephants and fucking. Yeah, yeah, they just did that on uh, the Tom and Jerry movie. Just what, they trying to wedding? show my culture. Yeah, uh, Colin Jost is on it, and he's marrying an Indian woman, and he hires elephants. Yeah, they go bring all them out. in. And they, yeah, they come in on elephants, and I've then seen they, elephants like riding down like in like Midtown Atlanta before. You know, because of an wow. Indian wedding. It's, they are gigantic, like amazing affairs. It's huge and like opulent. Just really supposed cool. to be an elephant in, in Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Why the fuck there's an elephant in Atlanta, bro? Yeah. That's elephant. the last Indian thing wedding. you're supposed to see out that motherfucker. <laughs> um right. the uh let me. I, how do you think that affected? I mean, because you you've kind of rebelled. Like fuck this. It's you know, it's funny because I was talking to somebody. Uh, I was, actually, I was talking to my sister today and my youngest sister, and I was saying, you know, like you know, my aversion to my pops and our relationship um, is is whatever it is is is. But my pops grew up during Jim Crow. Right. You know what I mean? Like, like he literally was in Jim Crow, like, you know, Selma, Alabama, that the bus. So it's like, in a sense, you got to kind of go, dog, I get it that you don't have the scope of knowledge to kind of open your mind up to how I'm thinking or how I how how I feel or, or there's no pursuit of happiness. It's like you doing comedy. Okay you doing comedy is a thing that you did because you love doing it to go against the culture and, and you're so much happier behind, behind it, but you got to also kind of forgive them because they just never even had the scope to think beyond that, you know? Yeah, and that's, how, that's why, how? that's why I brought up the example of like my mom canceling my dad. Like it, it is yeah. absolutely like, it's like watching the old Eddie Murphy uh, specials, you know, it's yeah, like, yeah, they're you watch it now and you're like, ah, yikes, man, like that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Real. like, yo, yeah. man, I got good yeah. friends, man, stop saying yeah. that, you know, yeah, and yeah. Shit. but yeah. you know, that's what my dad is. My dad's like Eddie Murphy in the 70s, he's raw as fuck, yeah. man, like, you know, <laughs> yeah, 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 he's from the he's from 1950s India. You know? And ironically, he wears that same purple leather jumpsuit, too. He wears the same very- leather jumpsuit <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> at his liquor store. Anybody want vine? What's up, man? You know, <laughs> my my. um Yeah. So he's from 1950s India. He came to America in the 80s and uh, it was the first time he ever saw a computer. It was the first time he like rode in a car like it was, wow. you know, he's from a completely yeah, yeah. different. Yeah, you got to take that. I just watched. um 
uh, Charles Bronson movie. What's the the what's the, the movie Harry with the uh, uh, Death Bronson. Wish? The vandalism. What Death Wish? Death Wish I just yeah. watched Death Wish. Jeff Goldblum is in it, right? Five minutes into the movie, they have three dudes is raping this girl. Jeff Gold, a young, beautiful Jeff Goldblum is face fucking a girl in the in the first five minutes of of Death Wish. Like they have stripped her clothes down, tits out, put they spray spray paint on her ass, and and Jeff Goldblum fuck, and you're like. What the f- like? And I remember watching this, but my the scope of what I think about now and wh- how uncomfortable that made me feel. It's so can you imagine you're growing up in that? This is how you're yeah. programmed and, and and so on and so forth. And then well, nobody face fucked my mom, thankfully. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, or spray painter or at Dante two for two with some wild. <laughs> yeah, you wild man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you wild. It's all right. Uh, I was trying to. I was actually trying to connect with him, but I'm not. No, doing I feel that. you. I feel <laughs> you on that. I mean, things have definitely, things have definitely changed. And my dad coming from a third world country to America, the culture is different. Yeah. Like, you know, my dad was abusive towards my mom and myself, and my sister when we were kids. It wasn't a thing where I was like, oh, man, this is tragic. This is, uh, you know, so sad and horrible. I was like, yo, man, my cousin gets it way worse. You know what I mean? Like, right, right. It, yeah. it was part of the culture. It was like, right, I, right. I just, Right. I assume that every Asian family just got, the, I mean, like, why do you think we go to Harvard? You know, like, what do you, yeah. Yeah. you got to beat him on fucking to go to Harvard. Yeah. Right <laughs> <laughs> beat him with a calculus book and he'll get it. You know, you man school 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't.